Uh, at a point in the game, it's like half, we tied it up. It's like they was up about seven, eight points. You know, they just kept going on runs. You know, we weren't responding on the offensive side. But, you know, it just goes to show, you know, when we're competing hard and playing hard, you know, we can compete with anybody. What was it about their defense that was uh, I think Clinton is a problem in the field. You know, he covers a lot of their mistakes when their guards get beat. And, you know, it's real tough to score over him. I mean, he's 7'2", so. I know you obviously you really want to be playing on Monday, but how special has this season been to you? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't, I couldn't ask for any other way to finish my college career. You know, this being my final season, just to go to a final four, it was a special experience with a special group. With, with a special group. You've only been here one year, but how much do you think that this team has kind of set the foundation for Alabama to build on it and come here again in the near future? Yeah, I think. Um, you know, we took a step in the right direction within the legacy of Alabama. So they kind of started that last year, you know, with just having the number one seed, being the number one team in the country. And then we kind of laid the foundation a little bit more with making the final four. So, yeah, I feel like we just set the standard. What has this tournament run been like for you personally? Uh, it's been fun, man. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, we didn't win tonight, but I can say I took a lot of good things away from the experience. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't even make it to the NCAA tournament. Uh, you know, up until this point, I've never been to the NCAA tournament. And, you know, I can't even really describe, you know, what the experience is like. Like, you just got to be here to really get the full experience, you know. As a kid, when you watch the game, you only see, like, what's on the TV. You only get to watch the game. You don't get to, you know, come back in the locker room and, you know, get to see all the media and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm happy with, you know, the season that we had. And, and we made history as well. So. What's your message to the guys? You're the only guy with, uh, running out of eligibility. What's your message to the guys that are going to be coming back next year? Uh, man, just finish the job next year, honestly. Um, it's already proven that, you know, Coach Oates is a great coach and he can, you know, get teams here regardless of, you know, who he recruits, uh, who's coming in and the coaching staff, regardless of the situation. He's a winner and he's going to do what it takes to win. So I would say just finish the job. Aaron, did you think most of the game plan was following? Yeah, uh, a lot of the game plan was followed. Uh, we kind of just, we slipped up in certain areas that we specifically wanted to beat them in. Um, and I feel like that's just where they kind of took their, where they had their runs and everything. What was a couple of areas? Uh, uh, just uh, knowing their plays, uh, just uh, letting Spencer, you know, come off those screens. Uh, you know, like whipping under uh, Newton's ball screens. Um, just switching when we're under 10 in the shot clock, like just little things like that. They kind of build it up and add it up, and that's how they kind of build their lead. Aaron, when you came to Alabama, was a Final Four run something that you envisioned was going to be possible? Yeah, uh, Coach Oates told me from the beginning that we're building this team to win a national championship, and he wasn't settling for nothing less. What does it mean for you to have been able to have made this run in your final year? Uh, it's special for me, man, just because, you know, I haven't really been to the NCAA tournament at all. You know, this is my first tournament, and, you know, we made history in my first tournament ever, so I'm forever in Alabama's history. Is there a little, do you take a little longer? Lost, lost, but you guys, the game was tight. You know, it was an entertaining game. You guys didn't look scared or anything. Thing. I mean, what, how do you assess how y'all play today? I think we play we play well, we play hard, but like I said, it's just the little things, you know, the little details. We didn't really, uh, we didn't really like compete on the level of being mentally locked in, like the whole 40 minutes. I feel like at times, you know. We kind of just missed assignments, you know, whether it was whipping under a ball screen or, you know, top blocking Spencer and not let him come off those screens. So I feel like all of that stuff just kind of added up, and that's when they were able to go in their runs and make easy shots. Chris, you didn't get to play any this year, obviously red shirting, but uh, what are your takeaways from, from, from this season? Oh, man, these guys, like, my teammates, man, they just – they're incredible, yeah. you know. Um, a lot of them were transfers, so they came in with a lot of experience, and just learning from them was everything. Uh, you put out a practice video pretty recently where you were obviously doing very, very well. Uh, what was uh, your thought process with one behind putting that video out? And, and really, how did you play a part in preparing the uh, preparing the team for for this run? Um, 
Yeah, well, yeah, we 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 finished our last official practice, so you know, I was just I'm I'm, I'm kind of proud of my practice, man. So I just wanted to share it. Certainly. Uh, I would like to say I helped the team a little bit in practice, just competing every day, and showing up. Are you um? Have you given any, any thoughts to, ne to next season, being back with Alabama, or making any moves to, to, to any, any different moves? Uh, I haven't really thought about it. Right. Thank you so much for your time, Chris. Ryan, what do you think they that we can know we can beat here now? Nobody really thought we could beat all everybody said we don't have that random level of or whatever. That's just kind of coming back and just came out and just came out and played and nothing. We all believe in ourselves, we all believe in each other, so we're just uh this team to go this far like some might expect we have not seen the rest of the sauce. Nobody goes to the same place. It feels very cold to be the comments of how no good we're on the way better off the course. That made it better on the way. You can only go up. I feel like my next goal is a national championship. Been to the Sweet 16, been to the Elite Eight, been to the Final Four. My next goal is a championship, and that's something that I'm going to strive to get in the offseason. I'm going to do what I got to do to uh, get that in the offseason. If I take you back to it's uh, it's tied with 12 minutes to go, what was the difference from 12 on to end the game? Uh, I don't really remember. I haven't really <clears throat> went back and looked at the film, but um, probably just some little mistakes we made that they capitalized on. Is that one of the best teams y'all played this year? Um, yeah, I mean, of course. They were the number one overall seed. Like, of course, they were one of the better teams that we played this season. What, what was what was better with that team than other teams you played this year? Your defense was tougher. They played the tighter. What were some of the things they did well? Uh, it wasn't really the defense. It was more, you know, they got a rim protector. Um, so we didn't really get in the paint that much. But it didn't matter. We still had a chance to win. Um, for me, what makes them a little bit different is they, they run a lot of sets and for different people too. So you got to nail like a bunch of sets for uh, different people. It's not just one person or two people. Like they run a set pretty much for everybody on the court. So or they got a set in the playbook for everybody on the court. So like, uh, for me, it was uh, the difference with them and a bunch of other teams that we played is just all their sets and they got counters to like, all their sets and all this crazy stuff. When do you think it'll soak in what you guys accomplished this year? Can you do it now? Does it soak in now, or is that something that's going to take a day or two or three? It's going to take a couple months for me just because, like, you know, there's teams still playing, and we're not one of them. So it has, it's not going to sink in until at least that's over with. And, and when that's over with, I think it still needs time to soak in just how, how good we had, how good of a season we had. But right now I'm just a little, a little upset we lost. Um, we could have won. Everybody knows it. We just we lost to a really, really good team. And they were probably the only team in the tournament that could beat us, in my opinion. So um, we just lost to a really, really good team that is um, that they were the national champions last year too. So good coaching staff too. Mm -hmm. Um, it's something that we knew we could do. Um, everybody in the media was saying we were gonna get blown out. Um, we didn't really. You know, we've been saying that all tournament. So came out with confidence. We weren't scared. Uh, came out with energy. Um, I liked the way we played. Honestly, to be honest, we just made a couple like little mistakes at the end that costed us. Like I said, they have a bunch of counters for all their sets. So just a little bit, a little plays, a little detail plays that they probably, they probably didn't have in the playbook until the game. Like, you know, coaches, they, they make a whole new playbook for the game. So they probably did that. But uh, it was just, they were, they were really, really good. But we still caught one. You talk about all their counters and sets. How prepared do you think you guys were to, to face their their, count, their their offense? We were very prepared. We watched film every day, like three or four times a day. So preparation wasn't an issue for, in my opinion. Like we knew the game plan. As you can see, like we, we should have, could have won. Like so, and we should have won. So, um, my opinion, um, all the counters and sets and all that stuff. Most of it is, is you look at it, but also most of it is basic basic discipline on defense, just basic rules that we put in no matter who we play. So 
Um, didn't execute tonight, but we will. Yeah, eventually, and hopefully, um, and you know, hopefully, um, I get back here, and hopefully, I get back to the national championship and win that. That's that's my next goal. Uh, you, you got summer ahead, and obviously fall. The, have you given any, any thought to uh, what you, what, how, what that looks like for you? No, I'm just focused on like right now and all these guys, um, all, my brothers. You know, it was Aaron Estrada's last game, so my main focus is just making sure he's good. He's my brother. Love him. He had a great career. So my main focus is just focusing on these guys and, and being there for him. Um, it's a it's a tough time right now. We lost. Season's over. Long season, but just being here for these guys and um, like you said, just relaxing and just taking <clears throat> taking my mind off of basketball for a little bit. Then you know hit the ground running with uh, what's up next. It seemed like a lot of the guys were playing for Aaron Estrada through the last couple of weeks. Oh, what what does he mean to you guys as, as a program and as a team? He means a lot for me. That's my roommate. So, like, he means a little bit more to me than probably other people. So, you know, me and him, we have conversations all day, all night in the room. Just, you know, that's my brother. And, you know, I hurt for him. You know, I'm more hurt that he played his last game than, than us losing me. I'm, I'm more hurt for him than I am for myself. Just because, like, he had a great career and he deserved a national championship. And uh, we couldn't, I couldn't do enough to help him get it. So I'm really, really upset myself for that. And uh, I own one for that. Well, what do you think you'll remember most about this team and this run you've been on? Just the fight we had. Like, we had a deep team, a talented team, a skilled team. Just the fight we had. Like, we showed fight every game. We went down, we went up every game. Um, I just feel like, you know, just everything we did was very, very, you know, we did it with, you know, execute, great execution from the coaches that drew, put us in position to have a great season. So, you know, shout out to all the coaches, you know, Coach Oates. I think he, like, proved, it, <clears throat> proved himself this year. Um, people, like, doubted him and his system and his, uh, his tournament success. But, you know, like I said, he's, a, he's the GOAT, to my, in my opinion. Just going into this game, I mean, the, what, what do you think went wrong in the second half? How, how was UConn able to kind of take advantage from, from your perspective? Just, uh, like, the little play, like, little details. And what I mean by this, like, loose balls, um, offensive rebounds, our turnovers. Um, George, is, they just fall harder than us and executed a little bit better. And, I mean, they're a good team. But I just feel like we just under executed a little bit and they over executed. And yeah, like I said, they just they outplayed us a little bit. How did it feel to, to be back out there after coming off the injury? Um, it was fun to be back out there. I mean, like, I really wanted to get out there and just play with my brothers. Like, I know it was Aaron's last season. I told him, like, I'm not going to not play the last game with you. And um, just being able to be out there with him, um, all the other guys, just understand, like, we made history. Um, I was just happy to be back out there. You mentioned Aaron's last season. What, what has he meant to this team? And, and what did it mean to be able to make this run in his last year? Um, he's been a huge blessing to this team. I mean, he brought a culture to us and um, the Bama culture that, I mean, now it is a standard for us. Like, he's part of this history, and um, he meant a lot for this team. Like, he was a great glue guy, great core guy, great leader great mentor for just some younger guys and um he's also just a really cool dude like that's my dude like we hang out on out the court and um yeah i mean i love that dude so i mean i hope everything the best for him when you made the decision to transfer alabama did you envision a final four runs that something you thought was possible um yeah i mean coach Oates talked about it he said um, with the offense we run and the way we play i mean we have a really good system and i understand that the system is really good and i mean it worked we just knew we had to play defense and we didn't want to go home, so playing defense was a big thing, and we locked in jail together, and that's what we did. We made history, so. You guys came out and made your first nine of 12 three point shots. I mean, how was that feeling at that point, and then what happened maybe down the stretch? Um, yeah, we felt, we felt really good. Um, their thing was to take our. Uh, threes away um obviously they did that in the second half and later on in the first half but i mean we still got good looks we just didn't make those threes but i mean we just had we just definitely had to make an adjustment um which we didn't make but i mean other than that i mean we just we just didn't make those shots and um 
we're putting a lot of work and we trust it. So understanding that, trusting that, and that we're we gonna still keep shooting those shots. We got a little gas sometimes. Um, not a little gas. I just think we under executed, and I think they uh they beat us on the little plays, like just small execution plays under out of bounds. Um, I feel like we gave up too many uh, uncontested threes. And then, um, yeah, we just gave up way too many uncontested threes. Yeah. You talked about this being Aaron's last game. Do you have another year of eligibility? Have you given any thought to that about coming back next year? Nah, I don't really know yet. I haven't thought about it. What did you do well this year? What did I do well? This, this uh, year. This year? Uh, I don't know. I would say we hit the final four. Like me personally? Yes, yes. Um, I don't really like to get into like my goals myself, but I mean, I would say like being a leader for this team and um, just bringing a culture that's like not satisfied with anything and not taking anything for granted. Um, just coming from a smaller school, um, you can't take things for granted. And being on the biggest stage shows that that taking things for granted um, will get you gone. And um, I feel like some teams took things for granted, and I don't think we did. And I think that's why we're here right now. Max, just want to get your takeaways as uh, you were honored at halftime. You were honored for your, for your great GPA, and just kind of what you're going to take away from from this from this run. Um, just the guys, you know. It's like anybody who turned on an Alabama game throughout the year knew like we had hit some adversity, we had lost some games we could have won. But like this group of guys is so resilient. We battled, we, we stuck together at moments. It would have been so easy to splinter. And like, it's really like my family. Like I'm gonna remember my family forever, you know? I'm gonna remember every single dude in this locker room for the rest of my life. That's, that's for me, that's the best part about it. Like, you know? I asked you about the SEC tournament uh, a couple of weeks ago, but now we're here at the Final Four. What's going to be, you talked about the being the guys, but like the experience wise, what's the memory you're going to take away from the tournament, from being here in Phoenix, Final Four? Man, just, uh, just winning the game, cel celebrating the wins with, with the team. Like, you know, what, what I think was one of my favorite moments of this tournament was like we have like our go to guys that everybody knows get can get some buckets or make some plays. But we had so many different guys show up every single game that it was somebody else's night every game. Mm -hmm. And how every dude in the locker room celebrated those guys, you know, you just go down the line, Charleston, GCU, um, North Carolina, Clemson, like if so somebody had a massive game every single game that of course I expected because I know how much work, but maybe the people out there did not expect it the media. So that was one of my favorite moments to watch the work show. Thanks for your time, Max. What do you feel like you learned your freshman season here? Uh, I think I learned a lot. Um, I learned how to be mentally tougher. Um, I learned how to um, like follow a game plan better, and just like be able to lock in on both the ball. Um, and I just learned like yeah, every day, I like bring it every day. When you look back on this team and this season and the run you'll have to the Final Four, what are you going to remember most about this group? Um, just like the bond I built with my, my brothers. Uh, like, it was a, obviously a great, a great year, one of my most, most fun years of my life. Um, and just these guys are my brothers, so I'm going to miss them. Bro. What kind of, you know, hung in there with you come for a while, but kind of what, was it just um, how tough they are? What kind of happened the second half when they were able to pull away? Uh, I think that we kind of went away from like, what, we, what we were doing. Um, I think that uh, defensively we, we um, went back to old habits um, and like offensively we weren't falling as we should have um, so I think that we just didn't play like ourselves at the end of the second half. Thanks Sam. Great game, you know, late in the game um, I felt like I did a, a great job on him first half. I think I limited him to a couple points but um, he went off a little bit and, and, and got, his, got into his groove eventually. The pick and roll, what makes it just so hard to win? And obviously, Cleveland's always there as a lob threat over the top, and then you have Justin Moon and Ken Spencer spreading the floor on the wings. Just uh, defensively, what do you think was the mindset to yeah, take away there on the defensive side of the floor? Um, really, yeah, just you know, knowing that he's, he's seven two. I mean, I mean, they have you know attacking guards that, that can make floaters from the mid range area, um, that can get to the to the rim strong. I mean, um, I don't, I'm not sure how many you know pick and roll clinging clinging actually finished, but I know I contested one, they called foul on it, but um, it was you know it was still a, it, it was it, it, it did really good you know executing on their pick and rolls and you know finding open shooters and things like that and you know having clinging rolling as hard as he do. 
that, that's, that sucks in the defense and allows shooters to get open. So, I mean, their game plan was pretty good. Um, and, you know, that's a respect to, you know, UConn. What does this team mean to you? It's, you know, Aaron's last year. Mark's had a great season. You guys had a great year. And you, you didn't end the regular season in the SEC tournament. We didn't get stellar, but you were able to flip that switch and put it on in the tournament. Just what does this team mean to you? It means a lot, man. You know, a, lot of, a lot of guys put their individual goals to the side and, and you know, wanted to make this you know, collective effort together. And I feel like we've done that. I mean, we made it to the Final Four for the first time in school history. Um, I'm, you know, it's outstanding on what we did this year. I mean, the coaching staff, you know, was brought around, and you know, the players that he recruited here. I mean, this has been amazing, you know, the run that we had, and, you know, it's sad that we came short, but, you know, you know, knowing, you know, Aaron's the only guy, you know, that can't return to college, I mean, it's, that's, you know, that hurts a lot, you know, so we really wanted to do it for him. You know, we said he's going for Chris Stewart. We're doing it for a lot of different reasons. I mean, a lot of us come from, you know, different backgrounds that we want to do it for. People look up to us. Um, and it, it just hurts, man. I mean, it's hard to, you know, explain, you know, how we really feel. What was that switch that you guys flipped at the end of the tournament? To just to, to run in this. I mean, yeah, we just you know started fresh after the Florida loss. We watched film on it. We you know hit, pretty much hit a reset button. And, you know, it was about who wanted more at this point. So you know, we dug deep. You know, you know we went on a great run. We stacked games. We had more intent on what we were doing. And I, I feel like eventually it you know it allowed us you know to make it to this point here. And you know, I'm 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 happy with what we did you know, this year. And, you know, I feel like it's more to come in the future. Yeah, you were a young guy uh, to, to this run, but you made some significant contributions. What's going to be uh, your takeaway from, from this uh, NCAA tournament? Um, just the experience of it, um, the feeling of playing in front of a lot of fans, um, you know, playing with these guys here. I learned a lot from them throughout the whole season. Um, I'm just, I gathered a lot of information throughout these last five games, um, you know, and I feel like it's going to help me for next year because, you know, there's no better teacher than experience. Absolutely. Uh, you played many different roles uh, on this team this year. Uh, just talk about maybe your ability to kind of fit into whatever was asked for you uh, this year, whether it be the energy guy or get in there, get some rebounds, just uh, your willingness to do whatever whatever is asked for you. Um, yeah, I just try to do whatever I can to help the team. Um, you know, I have a different role from anyone on the team. You know, with my size and versatility, you know, so I just try to do every little thing I can to try to help the team, you know, whether if it's, you know, getting a rebound, still playing defense, or um, locking up the best player on the other team. So I just try my best to do it, you know. Um, that's, that's what I try to do every game. Obviously, Donovan Klingon was a very good player tonight. Can you talk about what it, what it was like uh, going against him in the minutes that you were uh, in, in there? Um, when I got in the game, uh, he he didn't really do much when I was in. But throughout the whole game, he was an X factor in the game. Um, he got a, uh, a lot, a few good looks in the, in the paint. Um, he finished around the rim, you know, pretty well today. Um, you know, he he he, he had a good game. Um, and I feel like we could have did a little bit of a job on you know, stopping him from scoring around the basket. But you know, they came out and they you know they played hard. And they got the win. What do you think is the uh, area that you improved uh, personally the most this year? Um, except in my role, you know, um, I was never really a guy that you know that would like you know set flares or like I, I was I always did the dirty work, but you know, I was more off the ball this year. You know, um, coming from prep school, you know, when you're like the you know one of best player the team probably the best player so just having to make the adjustment you know once I set my role I got more minutes and stuff like that so that was one of the biggest adjustments what do you think is going to be an area in your game that you're going to want to uh, focus on in the off season to improve off season I'm, I'm going to work on my shot every day um, you know I know that's an area in my game where I need to improve on um, with, with my confidence as well um, you know so that's I'm going to that's like the biggest thing I just need to work on right now. Uh, pretty much have everything else. So that's, that's, that's going to be my main focus. Ramadan is over in a couple of weeks now. Uh, just what's it like fasting through this through this entire tournament? Uh, as, as, as Christian, I, I find it very hadn't. Yeah, it's it's tough. You know, it can be tough, but it's 
85% mental and 50% physical. So if you allow yourself to just keep thinking about food while you're fasting, it only makes it hard for yourself. So, you know, I just try to lock in on the game, uh, all the other distractions, you know. Once you move that away from you, the fasting becomes a little easier. And after the first week of fasting, it becomes easier for you, you know, once you got the focus, you know, you're locked in. So, yeah, it's, just, it's, a, it's a challenge, but, you know, it's something that's doable. What's going to be, you know, next week, two weeks from now, when you're kind of reflecting on the weekend, what's going to be, oh, I, I'm always going to have this in Phoenix. What's going to be your final four minutes? Just playing with these guys right here, you know, playing with my teammates. I'm excited. Just just the good memories we have off the court as well, not just on the court, but off the, off the court, um, the experience, you know. I feel like I got I got a feel of the experience, how it is to play in front of so much fans, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and I, and I learned some things throughout these games, you know. So that's going to be the, one of the biggest takeaways of the experience. Have you given any thought to what your next move will be or what your plans will be for the next summer, over, over summer and fall? Um, my next plan, is, as of now, it is to come back. Um, I haven't had, you know, you know, any any decisions made already. You know, so I'm just gonna stay in the gym, work hard as I can, um, work on my three point shot, and you know, and we're gonna see where, where that go from there. I'm gonna just remember how 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 good we were. And uh, just what a Final Four team looks like. So I can tell everybody what a Final Four team looks like. And uh, yeah, I'm going to remember how we had to handle a lot of adversity. And uh, I'm proud of everybody that did. Uh, just, Thank you. Rowan, what's it like for this just, this just reflecting on this season, uh, what, what do you think? Should I find it very and how would you kind of quantify and talk about what this team was able to accomplish this year? Well, we accomplished a lot. It was an unbelievable season. Um, you know, man was a great school for athletics so you know you wanted to bring them a national championship in basketball but it didn't happen this year so but you know at least we put basketball on the map like basketball at Alabama it can't be looked at as just you know a side or a, a second place to football probably not even second because I ain't gonna lie like growing up Alabama basketball was like low like it was like football gymnastics all the other sports in front of them basketball was kind of like they were always like a a 9-9 nine and nine type team, so just making sure Alabama basketball is in a better place now, um, and it is, and um, I'm excited to see what uh, the future of Alabama basketball looks like. What does it mean for you to have been on the team that kind of broke that glass ceiling and got to the Final Four and the team that made that history? It means a lot. It's something I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. Um, that's what I came here for. I came here to try to make history, and we did. But I also came here to try to win a natty. And so we didn't get that this year. But um, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. How do you feel about the future of this team and, and still trying to reach those goals? Do you think that's something that's still attainable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely something attainable. Um, I told somebody like the other day, like when you get to the final four, just you really like I'm gonna be mad if I don't get back to the final four at least because it's just like I know what's going on at the final four now, and I know other teams are getting that, and I want to be on one of those teams, so I gotta do what I gotta do to get to the final four again. How much did this run kind of awaken the, that possibility? Like, how much did it kind of prove to you guys that, hey, we can do this? And, and how much confidence is it that kind of instilled in the group that's going to be returning? We all believed it, but, like, you know, like I said, sometimes um, – you gotta do it to like believe it even more. So like everybody could tell themselves. Um, I, I say it with teams that like that beat you. Teams that I'd be like, oh no, they can't beat them. And then other people be like, they have before. So they already know they can beat them. So like we already know we can get to a final four. So uh, it's just about going out and doing it again consistently. With uh, with this being Aaron's last year, the, this run that y'all kind of made, a lot of guys were saying to do it for him with it being his last year. What has he meant to you and, and to this team? He meant a lot to me. Like that's my guy. Like he's my roommate. I come over his house all the time. You know, we just chop it up. I, I started going over his house in the summer, and we really talked about, you know, uh, Final Four. We really did. We talked about getting Coach Oates, the team. Uh, this team is going to be the team that gets him in the Hall of Fame. 
with a uh, with a natty. We talked about that all summer, and uh, for, to see most of it actually come out into in, into real life is just unbelievable. It just shows you like dreams can come true, and even when you're just talking with your homeboys about random stuff that probably like you're not even really thinking about at the time. In the summer, nobody really think about a national championship. We all thinking about you know just all the fun we have and we chilling, summer workouts, just looking at the team, seeing what our team gonna be like. So, uh, but it actually came like true. We worked for it. He works as hard as anybody. So uh, he deserved to be here and he deserved a natty, but unfortunately we couldn't get it for him. Do you have a chance to kind of step into that kind of role when you come back, you be an upperclassman returning starter. What do you learn from him as a leader that you can take into your own next year, junior season next year? Yeah, just wherever, wherever, like, I just know wherever I am, it's just, it's just you got to lead. No matter, Aaron's been a, a bunch of different places. You can tell, like, he's took what he's, what he's got from all those other places right here and leave. So I just got to take all, everything I've learned from uh, the first two, my first two years of college and just put it out and, and, and put it into fruition for everybody else that's on the team. And you know, hopefully we get back to the final four. You talked a lot about kind of Coach Oates and what his potential is, what he's meant. Um, what do you think the ceiling for Alabama basketball can be under under Coach Oates? Uh, like I said, he could be. He should be. He should be in the Hall of Fame by by the time it's all said and done. Uh, I believe that 100 percent that he will be in the Hall of Fame. Um, you know, I know he's gonna get talent. He's gonna get. He's gonna have a great game plan, no matter um, who's on his team. Like it doesn't really matter. He's gonna make his offense fit the players he has on his team. So, you know, he works harder than anybody in the country, in my opinion. Uh, I, I haven't seen nobody work as hard as him um, as far as coaching. Like, I'd be like, dang, like, what more film could they show us? Like, they showed us everything. Like, they went, they started showing us UConn's 30-0 run. I'm like, all right, y'all just getting bored now. Like, y'all just trying to find stuff. But that just shows you, like, how prepared he is and how he comes in ready to go. Like, even if I didn't, like, understand it, I still had to sit there and do it just because, you know, you, you got to just because he knows what it takes to win. So whatever he's saying, you just got to do it. No matter, like, the context or if he's yelling, you just got to do it. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Robert. you came into this team later, obviously, with the circumstances at West Virginia. What is this year going to mean to you? I mean, this meant a lot. Like, I never thought I wanted to be in the Final Four one day. And then with this type of team, like, coming to uh, Alabama, I know that they used to win a lot. And that's what I want to be part of. So, like, this definitely meant a lot to me. Uh, you seem like you battled a lot through the year with, with your foot. Uh, can you elaborate on things that you went through with your foot? Um, I had the injury late at uh, West Virginia, the injury. And then when I came, um, my physical, they saw it was still, like, messed up. So we got the surgery done. And then somewhere in the middle of the year, it started hurting a little more. But me and Clark, the athletic um, guy, he got me right. So I'm just still working on that. But they never shut you down. What does it uh, say about you? Or what, what, what is it about this team that you basically said, I'm, I'm going to give whatever, whatever I can? Uh, I feel like uh, Alabama had, a, like, really good doctors and stuff like that. So they made sure my foot was, like, able to play every night in and out. Uh, you, you, obviously, it's a big accomplishment to get to the Final Four. What's going to be your biggest takeaway from from uh, this weekend? It's really the, the experience, like the journey. Like, it was really up and down, so like that's really that matter the most for me. Have you given any thought to uh, what the summer's going to look like for you? Maybe what the future's going to look like for you? No, nah, we're just going to get you know get it working and make sure we get here again. Thank you so much for your time. Devin, obviously, you uh, uh, experienced the injury right before the the, uh, the tournament really got going, but what's going to be your takeaways or uh, your memories from these three these three weeks? Um, So this is a, like a one-of-a-kind experience, just making it to the Final Four. And, you know, as last year, I came here and we was uh, got put out at the Sweet 16. So I actually made it to the Final Four this time, being one game away from the championship game. It's just amazing and a blessing, you know, uh, Put hungers in myself to in the off season get my foot better, of course, but also work, work, work. Let the team know next year how this feels, and you know, hopefully we'll go back to make another run, win it all. Yeah, obviously you had several games where you had standout performances. What would you say is uh, the area in your game that you improved the most over the year? Um, I feel like I improved most just IQ and being more of a leader. Um, I haven't got to show what I really have all the way, but I've accepted my role this year of being the 3 and D guy as a freshman. Sure. And so um, I would just say being more of a leader and you know, leading the guys on. You know, once I got hurt, I just had to involve myself some way, and that's how I chose to do it. 
over the next, obviously your foot gets healthy, but what's the uh, area that you want to improve on over the offseason? Um, I would say more in just driving the ball, you know, making the right uh, decisions, paint decisions, run decisions. I would say um, I can shoot the ball well, of course, you know, so that's the next step. You obviously early enrolled last year, and so you got kind of a second half of a high school season. What does what did that what did that second half really do for you for this freshman year? Um, that second half prepared me well, like body wise, uh, mindset wise. You know, just being with the guys like Brandon Miller, you know, Noah Clowney, Javon Quinnerly, you know, even with Mark Shears and Nick Pringle. You know, just seeing all those guys, you know, talking to them all last year, coming out of high school. They was number one last year, you know, we made a big run. So I learned a lot IQ-wise, but also my body uh, got – I, 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 uh, I had 30 pounds. I gained 30 pounds since high school to where I'm at Who had you do that? Weightlifting and food? Yeah, weightlifting and food. <laughs> Did you ever get to hate and food? I never hated food, and I love it. I love the nutritionist that's here, that we have here and the weight room coach we have. Or well, have you given any thought uh, to what your plans will be over the over the next summer and fall? Um, you know, well, just focus on getting my foot back for real and just working with the guys this summer. Thanks for your time, guys. I mean, everything. Just uh, represent the state of Alabama. Just be the first team in the program. We should get here, you know. It's everything I could ask for. What does this do for the program going forward? Uh, we, set the, we set the standard now. So it goes up for Final message to Todd Benson. Roll Tide. I saw Charles Barton grab you up when you came on before. What were his words for you? I just said, uh, he said a great player. Thank you, guys. Thanks, 30 seconds. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.